Hey guys, <clears throat> thanks for tuning in again. This is Red Tail Ray. I'm going to show you guys a quick trick that I just learned. I um, actually learned it a, a long time ago, um, but I just started trying it as I cut down a tree. As you can see, all this white moldy stuff. It was a pretty fresh tree this uh, earlier this year, earlier this spring. And it was rotten in the middle. You can see all these pretty big, uh, pretty big logs have pretty you know good sized holes, especially in the like these guys, I mean, I can fit my whole fist in there. I'm going to show you, oh. for a Swedish fire, and you can buy these places for, out, you know, ridiculous, outlandish quantities of money. Um, select your log, <clears throat> and you find a, a good wind direction if it's a slightly breezy day like it is today. And the reason why I'm doing this is because uh, the bugs out here are so stinking bad, you can't even be outside. I'm trying to bury this electric fence. And, uh, yeah, there's even mosquitoes around the fire pit. I gotta clean my fire pit out. It's a it's a pile of mess right now. When you select your wind direction, and you want your your two base logs that aren't gonna burn that much actually until the very very end um, to set those up in line with the wind direction so that the air flows through on the bottom and it'll help feed the fire from the bottom and burn the inside of the wood out. And so select your log and place your uh, place your Swedish log on Just top like of that so. guy. Hey, there's some bugs right there. Get out of here, bug. So now, next step is you fill your hole with rolled up newspaper, literally like rolled up or crumpled up paper, whatever you got for uh, for fire starter, and uh, you can just fill like the this. whole bottom. I just rolled up a bunch of uh, not the plasticky stuff, but the good you know dry paper manuals and stuff. And we do keep burn piles out here just to start fires and to get rid of sensitive documents. We shred them a lot too, but um, just to show you guys. So I'm gonna start this. Alright, now I got a lighting utensil. Now I do smell other people in the area are having fires, probably for the exact same reason. Get under here. Pull your uh, paper down a little bit. I'm going to stuck a wad in first before I did anything for the rolled up stuff on the top. I'm going to get it lighted. I got the paper started. It was a very simple process. Not like you have to build a log cabin or a teepee and get fire starter and tingling and all that. You just light the paper. And it'll take some time, but through the chemical process of pyrolysis and the actual molecules breaking down, and turning into a flammable substance that, that you know off gassing and the gas is burning not the actual product um, you actually start to see and through heat start to get smoke out the top and this will go like this for a while this will just sit there and smoke until it gets hot enough to actually combust heating and heating and heating and once the paper burns out it'll uh It'll actually be on fire in the middle and I'll show you guys clip it through the uh, the next bit of the process because this actually this part will take probably 20 minutes to a half hour for this thing to actually start right. going. Now after a long burning process and sticking some paper in there in the bottom and some more on the top and feeding with sticks and stuff we finally got some ignition where it's actually turning into a rocket stove it's sucking air from the bottom and the super hot inside is literally sucking air in from the bottom and making flames shoot out the top. Now it's spurting like that because it's fighting for oxygen and there's a lot of heat and the wind died down since we started this as the smoke's going straight up. <clears throat> Showing the bottom. The bottom is actually a little bit on fire. There's still some paper in there. But now what we do is we feed some sticks into it. <clears throat> You get it rip roaring, and we'll start actually uh, cooking from the inside out after those sticks. All right, so you can see the beauty of something like this. We actually have combustion from the inside. The wood is burning from the inside out. There's no fuels other than the uh, 
you know, the heat from the bottom of the, the follow basically. And, and yeah, sometimes it does start on fire, like on the other side over there. And that's okay. You can just roll these two logs inward or respace them out. But the idea is, is that you got heat coming out in a concentrated circle. I can't remember exactly if it's called a, a Swedish fire or a Swedish stove. What if you're to take two sticks or two rocks and place them on either side of the hole, like so, maybe even a little bit closer. You can actually take a pot or a pan. You could cook on it. You heat up and boil water. You do just about anything you want to do. Nice flat top grill, but you got to have that space in there. You can't be too close. Like I think I just put it too close and I just put the fire out. You got to get that oxygen running. There we go. So, here is Red Tail Rays, quick and easy Swedish fire that, of course, I learned from somebody else on YouTube. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks again and always for tuning in. Oh, we got the little bark started on fire. Let me pull that out. end my closing shot without burning my camera. See you guys in the next video.